I am thinking, what shall I do for today? Make a garage, a museum, a bank, a town hall, farm area, boat harbor, green grocer, supermarket, mine, fort, or some cool graffiti that we can put onto the wall. I think the last one will do and there's something that I wanted to do for a while already. Now if you guys have some ideas, something for a very cool building, a certain shop, a restaurant, something with your own name on it or another name, anything that would come into your mind, let me know and I'm very willing to build that and place it down here on the island. This is the very first season so if you want to have something from the beginning into the series of islands onto my channel then this is your chance to become a part of it meanwhile it's getting mistier and mistier now one thing though i kind of mistake in my planning for the upcoming days because for tomorrow normally i would have an episode set up but for tomorrow i am away for the whole day so it's not going to work out for me to make an episode tomorrow now I could make something on Sunday, but it's going to be super rushy since on Sunday I already have something planned, which is something for islands, but yeah, I, I'm kind of running out of time for that and I don't want to be uh, too rushy. And three more of these. And before I continue, I must say I have one comment of cat cows. I really like the pop, but it's still a bit monochromatic. Maybe you can paint some of the metal stuff in brass color it. I use it feather pens as a dot for my board. Even though it is one comment, I really appreciate it because there is a lot of feedback into it and I love feedback. Even feedback might sound sometimes negative. For me it's positive and I see things that you guys don't see and you guys see things that I don't see and that is also another thing that I like about people interacting with the series there we go so thank you a lot cat cows we're gonna take a look within a second in there there is also some other stuff coming up I've been talking about uh, with the developers about something that I would like to do which I'm going to carry 90% of the work and the developers maybe 5 to 10% I'm just waiting to get a message back the upcoming week. It is going to be something big and something fun for everyone. So I'm waiting for that. Also, I am, on Sunday, I'm going to do more lessons on how to do scripting in this game. I already have been doing something and probably Monday will be the first video coming up. Also, in the front of me, I've been sharing up this area in three pieces. I gave this piece away to someone and that piece away from so to someone. This thing in the middle, I would like to cram something in myself, something cozy. And yeah, it also depends how it's going to look like on what these two people will make right down here. So that is coming up. And there is probably a lot more that needs to come up. I got a lot of ideas. I, it's just so much to do, and but I really enjoy it. So Cat Cows was saying it looks a bit monochromatic. I had to look it up on Google. I typed in the word and then I right away see from some pictures what it actually means. It just basically means it looks too much like one color, even though this one color uh, goes from dark to light. And he is right. I, I took a look at it afterwards and... I, yeah, I painted some more stuff like more yellowish instead of, you know, having it brownish. Now the thing here is I was thinking that this bar at least was looking a little bit too bright and it was only one thing. So I really like this comment because with that I have now a little bit more balanced out stuff. I even painted the, the, the outside of the painting a little bit brass. It will fit in with the candles. I really like this a lot more. I couldn't do the, the top part though, the bird meat because the color difference was a lot so i just decided to make that black and with the handles also black and it looks it looks already straight away a lot better having a bit more a uh, yellow in here also with the door and of course the darts i think and uh, that it was a very good idea so i'm just going to place some of these right down in here like that and then one more this one is going to go and a bit like this with an almost hit on the bull's eye now i would like to uh, lay these three for a second onto the floor 
because I want to put these onto uh, on this side right down here as in you know for another person and then I would like to paint these guys something something bright ish so maybe a blue could do you know I think that will fit in nice like blue ones and then these ones I want to have them a bit reddish uh, then you can clearly see it's like a two-player game I gotcha here in my toolbox I think it's funny that, for example, even charcoal is ending up in the toolbox. Yeah, while charcoal is not really a tool, even though it still kind of acts like one. It's more like a tool for the, the workbench. And this one, we're just going to put it a little bit like that, a little bit like that. Yeah, that's fine. Now it looks like not too perfect. All right, fantastic. I really, really love it in here. The only thing I wish that the game wouldn't do is put the candles off, like just keep them on. Um, but you know, it's fine. The, the, the pop for now is closed. And I also seen something that didn't look very well. So I'm just going to fix that up like that. Beautiful. All right, so now let's get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just, I just can't wait to see what these two people will make. I will just reveal who they are once it's time. And also, I'm thinking maybe I should give more people a chance and also let them build something. But I just want to do at least, you know, player two or something so it doesn't get too messy around in the area. Also, I have to announce right now that the new ship is 100% ready and I also moved over my buddies, or better to say, I moved you guys over on top of the ship. Of course, more of these can be added once, you know, I have something, I would like to have something different, of course. I will also place them on the ship. That ship is 100% empty, that ship is for 95% empty. I moved everything over to this guy right down here so we could just go on to adventure we have all the workbenches we need along the way i still have to get used to it because i needed like charcoal and then i'm like okay i need to go to the building over there but i could also just do it right down in here that's very handy i i've been organizing everything so well in here it's going to be sea stuff uh tools weapons uh two rows for clothing Maybe I shouldn't show all, but you know, you, you, you kind of get the deal here. I have so much more space. It is so much more well organized and I am super happy with this. Of course, there is a lot more stuff to do and yeah, we are what on episode 61. It, it sounds like we're going to reach 100 real time anytime soon, but it took already a lot to get to episode 1 to 50, I would say. I The one thing I do want to do is take care that at least everything is being done before episode 100 and then you know we can spend some other episodes maybe doing some the last mystery islands and uh, stuff like that i i, I want to have it finished all right so enough about that i said something that i would like to create right down here and that is graffiti i got a few couple of examples uh, in the front of me near me and Let's see if we can create something. Now, what am I doing here? All right, first things first. Uh, the, the, the graffiti I would like to fix is something with my name on it. Now, I would also like to ask you guys if you have a suggestion for a graffiti or you want to see your own name and then in a certain style, let me know down below in the comment section because I... You know, I can think of certain things, but I cannot think of all things. And sometimes you guys think of very cool stuff. So I have a very big alleyway here. And sooner or later, there will be another building. I got so much space around here. If you know some nice graffiti for on the wall, let me know in the comment section. About this wall? This wall is going to be mine. All right. So it is one, two, three, four, five, four pieces and uh, one and a half of these. All right, let's make it like that and finish it off. It is always handy to start a new thing. So if you double select one kind of a block, it doesn't double select everything in the map. And now we are here. Where the heck do I start? I, the thing here is graffiti. If you want to have a name, it has like the middle part. Then it has like, for an example, a smaller outline, which is most of the time actually pretty dark by the look of it. 
I'm going to need to make it a little bit darker. And then it could have something like a nice outline, something like that. And then it also sometimes have something, you know, to indicate the um, uh, reflex of the light. Reflect? What am I saying here? Reflection. You know, some reflection on it. And then it also would have like a bit of a crazy outline which now i'm thinking of it the best thing to fix that from would in this case be a meat slices because they are pretty round ish yeah that's perfect uh maybe a little more blinking <laughs> oh god this is going to be a lot of work now of course this doesn't you know the outline is just silly because the outline is First of all, organic shapes, while the inside is block shapes. So that's not going to work. But you just, you know, need to imagine. You just need to imagine it. it it's all either all going to be like organic shapes or either, you know, non-organic shape. But I just want to show you the idea of what all needs to happen. Like the middle piece, darker outline, lighter outline, something artistic around and some reflection effects. Now, of course, a lot more could be done, which for example is color degrading. I'm not sure if that is the correct word, but you get the deal going from light to dark, even though the difference is seen a lot. And it also makes it a lot more difficult to make organic shapes since, you know, stones are not like perfectly lined up then anymore so maybe i should just skip ahead for that one and just keep it something you know what i did here keep it organic and still colorful now with that out of the way let's get to work step one the outline step two a name and in this case i would like to go for a, what does this means building factory all right there we go step number three making the letters which looks like this and I quickly started to realize that this is a lot rougher than I thought it would be but at least it looks like it is you know custom made type of letter rather than just using the ones that are already in the game so I had to improvise a little bit this is by the way the outline so it is more easy to fill in uh, everything that needs to be in there now I also see here and there a little bit of a mistake I'm going to need to adjust this thing maybe the U looks unsure share this thing needs to be a little bit more offside i couldn't do anything really with this d so it looks like that maybe i should fill in this blank with also some purple but for the future there is always room for some more improvement uh, i just decided to keep this as an outline rather than making the actual outline around it so i know at least it will be crammed into the spot and i still have a bit of a wall around it that would make a little bit more sense the next step will be filling in the blank and or an outline without the outline. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it starts to look like something. I really try to get this spot like the same color, but it, it is so intense difficult. And I've also been thinking like it would have been way more easier if it was one big word instead of two words with a lot of lettering. I'm going to give it another shot in the future because for some reason I just really enjoy doing this and seeing the results. Which we now also have a bright yellow outline on the outline of the lettering. I think it's going to be time that I'm going to add something fancy, something that I had before, but I don't want to have it organic. I think about making some squares here and there and see if I can make big ones, tiny ones, etc. Which will look something like this. Now, of course, it is a little bit bigger than I actually want it to be, but yeah, I'll guess this, you know, should be able to fit within. It definitely does over here. Now let me check at the bottom. Move this down. Get this one away. Yeah, that's definitely... It is just perfect because we just have enough space here. as kind of like here, there and there. And of course I do know that this needs to be moved up. And then, you know, space will be a slight bit different. But sure, it, it, it is fitting within what I want. I think this kind of looks cool though. 
So the only thing that I have to do right here, right now is to, you know, as always have a bit of a market going or it's at least something market. Yeah, that marks off where it needs to be. In this case, I'm just going to move it up. Yeah, just like that and move these guys away. And yeah, you know, to be honest, it actually it was a lot of fun to create something like this. It's kind of cool though. I, I was thinking maybe I could have just added a few couple, just some yellow lines here and there. But maybe I should just, you know, leave it as it is. And now actually, before I forget about it, the most important thing will come right down here. And that is that I'm going to need to sink this show into the wall. Before I forget about that. So uh, pretend that this is the wall, and then it all is just going to need to be a super slight touchy up, just like this. And for the love of God, let this please all just work out as it's supposed to be. Well, let's grab the whole show and of course break the group. I've been working groups, every letter outline thing has been a group. And, you know, it might even be more smarter if I would just grab it all, make a copy first, and then break all of the group, then select our uh, point, which needs to be onto the street, or below the street. I hope it will be on the street. And then we can save it as a blueprint, call this a BF stripe graph. I'm not quite sure anymore how you write it. <laughs> Graffy, graph, graffiti. The heck is going on? You know what? It is fine. I will just check it out later on. Even though I have it on my Google, that's fine. Okay, let's just go to the map and see how it looks like. And once again, I'm not gonna say that I'm the first one. Definitely not. But I haven't seen anyone doing something like this. And I really like to, to think of things that other people, you know, might have not been doing. Or maybe they did. Uh, but they haven't really been showing it off. Of course, this game exists for a longer time. So, I'm just about in this Discord too. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, this. Oh, that is freaking awesome. Definitely, and I know my block is into the ground. Uh, you know, one, no, it, it is fine. I would, I wanted to say one thing I would like better. That is if I just move the whole show a little bit inclined, you know? Now it's like straight, straight, perfect. But yeah, it doesn't cost anything. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. It definitely is freaking cool. Okay, yeah, that, that one little problem here, but maybe, maybe. By the way, I painted all my tools too. You know what? It is gone and we can place a new one back. I think I need to rotate this. Yeah, it, it has like a dark side and a light side. Is it fine? It is not fine. Okay. Okay, it is fine. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now let's take a look at it. We just look at it. Look, look at it. Isn't that just fantastic? Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, some of the lettering could be better. Now, keep in mind, I am limited to the size of certain blocks. So, for example, when you look at the B, I, I wish I could make certain things more thinner, if you would. And, you know, the D looks like crap. The R, yeah, you know. I think what I need to do actually is make a set next time and take a look around on the World Wide Web because there are a lot of people that know how it needs to be done. They have examples. I need to take a look at it. And uh, this was just a wild idea that I once had to make something graffiti. And I think it worked out quite well with also the surrounding and, um, you know, past the yellow line with those blocks and cubes and stuff. I, I definitely want to make more of these and I definitely would like to take a look if I can make organical type of deals, maybe like a whole pack. I, I It was nice, just put on some music and, and, and just create. This is freaking cool. I mean, look at that. 
that that is you know you have to you have to hand it over it's cool right so i have way more spots of course right down here there will be some plants and bushes so it's going to be difficult but like i was saying before right down here i have another gigantic wall which is four times the size of you know what i have over there which basically means i have a lot more freedom of course this stuff is sticking through and i cannot remember for a second it is that okay you know maybe i should just um well i just see that i didn't paint something maybe i should uh, uh take these guys in the editor i still have them which is very nice and just redo them and just move them a little bit more forwards so they are not sticking through the wall and then we can make like massive painting on here i think that would be absolutely fantastic and yeah we can do this a lot more i mean this is a nice reason to have certain things not painted out uh or filled out you know like oh we need to put stuff everywhere and we can do make graffiti on it i mean we can make faces we can make yeah faces lettering cars anything actually gonna be pretty cool okay so i'm going to need to leave it with this it might have not been much but i promise you there is a lot of stuff coming up the upcoming weeks months and it's going to be absolutely fun and i'm looking pretty much forward to it and as always if you have some tips tricks ideas let me know down below in the comment section and i will definitely answer it take a look at it and maybe add it into this world or maybe something that needs to be changed once again thank you a lot for the suggestion on the salty swallow cat cows and with that being said i hope you guys have a nice weekend i just want to see it again just ah oh. It is amazing though. Look at it. That's you, you cannot tell me that isn't cool though. Even though the letter sucks, it is cool. Wow.